I hope you know the average normal body temperature and temperature at which your body spikes a fever. It is vital to know your body temperature level as it reveals a lot about your health. According to John Hopkins Medicine, body temperature is one of the key signs doctors look out for when they meet with their patients for the first time. While infection can cause fever, your body temperature can trigger fever due to fluctuation of temperature based on your age and sex. It's surprising to know that telling a lie can also cause a change in your temperature. Stick around to the end of this video to learn more about average body temperature, fever, and other factors that affect body heat. Remember to click on the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more informative and educative content like this. Number 1. What is the normal body temperature? Based on the publication of the US National Library of Medicine, the average normal body temperature is universally considered to be 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The normal body temperature ranges from 97 degrees Fahrenheit to 99 degrees Fahrenheit. However, normal temperatures varies in individuals. What is considered normal for you may be a little higher or lower than the average for someone else. The environment you live in has a major influence on your body temperature. Your body has a natural way of adapting its temperature in response to your present environmental conditions. For example, your temperature rises when you exercise. It is also higher in the late afternoon and evening than first thing in the morning. The body temperature of babies and young children is also higher than older kids and adults because their body surfaces are relatively larger than their weight. Their metabolism is also more active, i.e. the typical average body temperature of a newborn baby is 99.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Number 2. How can you know you're having a fever? According to Mayo Clinic, a temporary increase in your body temperature can be described as a fever. It is often triggered by illness whenever the temperature of a rectal, ear, or artery forehead is 100.4 degrees or higher, it generally indicates a fever. It usually won't take long for a fever to subside, it takes just a few days. If you're experiencing the following symptoms, you might be suffering from a fever. Headache, sweating, chills and shivering, general weakness, loss of appetite, muscle aches, irritability, dehydration. According to the Mayo Clinic, a body temperature of 103 degrees Fahrenheit or higher for adults can be a cause for concern and must be attended to immediately by calling your doctor. You also need the urgent attention of your doctor if you're experiencing the following along with fever, an unusual skin rash, unusual reaction to bright light, mental confusion, persistent vomiting, stiff neck and pain when you bend your head forward, difficulty in breathing or chest pain, seizure or convulsion, and abdominal pain or pain during urination. Mayo Clinic reveals that a slightly higher temperature than usual in infants and toddlers could be a sign of a serious infection. It is very important for you to call your doctor if your child is younger than 3 months with a rectal temperature of 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit or higher. It is also a sign of infection if your children are between 3 to 6 months old with a rectal temperature of 102 degrees or higher and makes them or irritable and comfortable. This is also the same with children between 6 and 24 months with rectal temperatures higher than 102 degrees Fahrenheit that last longer than 24 hours. Children from 2 years old upward with a fever that lasts longer than 3 days require the attention of a doctor. In case of seizure in young children from 6 months to 5 years old, emergency medical care should be called if the seizure lasts longer than 5 minutes or take him or her to the doctor immediately after the seizure to know the cause of it. Number 3. Did you know that a fever can help you fight off an infection? I'm sure you're already wondering how that's possible. Most people get very scared of fever not knowing that it's actually helpful. According to sources, there are several over-the-counter drugs that can suppress fever such as ibuprofen, Advil Motrin IB, and others. But it's better to leave it untreated sometimes. This is because fever seems to play a vital role in helping your body fight off some infections. However, this must be at the instruction of a doctor. Your doctor may also recommend an antibiotic if he or she discovered a bacterial infection, such as strep throat or pneumonia. Number 4. Older people get colder when it comes to body temperature. Your age might be a major cause if you discover you're always cold, even during the dog days of summer. Research has shown that our average body temperature declines slightly as we age. Number 5. What body temperature should you look out for with coronavirus? It is generally known that high body temperature is one of the major symptoms of COVID-19, the illness caused by a coronavirus. 
On the other hand, if you have a low body temperature, it's very sure you don't have COVID-19, so there's nothing to worry about. However, it's always good to take caution. If you think you have been exposed to the coronavirus, it is recommended by CDC to take your temperature test twice daily to see if you have a fever or not. In cases of COVID-19 symptoms, contact your state or local health department. Recovery is guaranteed if treated early. Number six, are you aware that men and women have different body temperatures? Have you heard the saying, cold hands, warm heart? According to research carried out at the University of Utah in Salt Lake City, it was discovered that women's core body temperature on average is 0.4 degrees higher than men's, i.e. 97.8 versus 97.4. The hand of a woman is 2.8 degrees Fahrenheit colder than that of a man on an average of 87.2 degrees Fahrenheit compared with 90 degrees Fahrenheit for men. Number seven, wearing a hat may not be enough to help you retain heat. Has your mom told you to wear your hat before because it's cold outside? They thought probably most body heat is lost through your head. Studies have revealed that there is nothing special about your head when it comes to heat loss. Any uncovered part of your body loses heat and reduces your core body temperature drastically. Number eight, did you know that telling a lie can cause your temperature to change? Of course. You would agree with me that fibbing won't cause your nose to grow, it would rather make it colder. According to a study published in April 2018 in the Journal of Investigative Psychology and Offender Profiling, thermal imaging was used to demonstrate that the anxiety brought on by a lie triggers the temperature of the nose to decrease while the temperature around the forehead area increases. Number nine, red pepper can also cause higher core body temperature. I'm sure most of you like your food spicy. You better be careful because it may raise your body temperature and body metabolism. A research experiment had participants add one gram of pepper to their food, their core body temperature rose drastically, but their skin temperature was lower. Another study shows that increased heat production with decreases in appetite is a potential benefit of consuming red pepper for those trying to lose weight. Number 10, you would be surprised that a cold heart can protect your brain. According to John Hopkins Medicine, therapeutic hypothermia is a method of treatment sometimes used for people with cardiac arrest. As soon as the heart starts beating again, medical providers make use of a cooling device to reduce the patient's body temperature to around 89 to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. Several types of research have shown that lowering the patient's body temperature immediately after cardiac arrest would prevent brain damage and raises the chances of recovery. Thanks for watching till the end. Be sure to take precautions and manage your body temperature. Kindly click on the subscribe button and notification bell for more informative educative content like this. Thanks for watching.